What's up, everyone? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com, and today we've got another blade steel video for you. Today we're going to be talking about 154 CM steel, who makes it, how it's made, and how it was developed. Now, before we get into the video, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos. I'm just going to keep telling you, so you might as well just go ahead and hit the button. You should know this by now. So, without further ado, let's light it up. So folks, 154CM first is not the same as CPM 154. That's a common misconception. They are very similar in makeup. However, CPM 154 is a powdered steel, whereas 154CM is not. It really is uh, an upgraded form of 440C. At least that was the original intention. Adding molybdenum coming in with a much higher Rockwell hardness, or HRC, of around... 58 to 61, depending on how it's heat treated. Now, it is an amazingly well-rounded steel. It's got great corrosion resistance. It's not terribly difficult to sharpen, and it actually holds an edge really well. Um, now, 154CM was originally developed by Crucible Industries in 1959 in conjunction with the uh, Wright Air Development Center of the U.S. Air Force. Now, we've talked about uh, Crucible before in our S35 video and how many patents they hold and their incredible innovation when it comes to steel. Now, early on, it was called CRM-134 or CRM-154 because the chromium content at that point had not yet been decided on. They hadn't nailed down, you know, their chromium content. And uh, 154 CM actually contains... 1.05% carbon, 14% chromium, and 4% molybdenum. Uh, that's 0.5% uh, manganese and 0.3% silicon. Now, it began being used in knives around 1972 by Bob Loveless. And uh, he absolutely loved this steel because of all that it brought to the table. And it gradually became a very popular blade steel. Um, you know, many knife manufacturers are actually utilizing this uh, blade steel. And after developing S30V and S90V, Crucible actually turned to their tried and true 154CM that they developed so long ago to work on their new CPM 154. Now, what actually happened was they had developed uh, S30V and S90V, and uh, a lot of people were kind of turned off from those because they were so difficult to sharpen. Um, they took a lot of patience, and uh, they were new to the market. They, they didn't understand the, the abilities that it had that far outweighed the deficiencies. So uh, Crucible turned to 154CM to develop a new uh, powdered steel version of that um, because it was going to be much easier to finish than their previous powdered steel options. And thus, the baby brother of 154CM was born. Now, is 154CM a good blade steel? Hell yes. Is it good for you? I don't know. That's up to you to decide. As always, all I can do is give you the information. What you do with it ain't my job. That's all for me, folks. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if it cuts, we carry it.